All right, all right, welcome back to Football Therapy with me, host Jan, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the Chelsea News video today where I'm going to be talking about three different subjects. One being the Germanic goal-scoring machine, Timo Werner. Can Chelsea sign this guy? He's been fluttering his eyelashes at Liverpool for a while now. I think he'd like to go there. But is there some set of circumstances where Chelsea should... should, should could, Jesus Christ. Is there some set of circumstances? Why is that so hard to say that Chelsea can secure the signature of Werner? I'm going to go into that. Because even his buyout clause, it's just a horrendously good bargain. Chelsea have secured and yet another youngster onto the books. This kid is quite young, he's 14, so we wouldn't expect to see him for a while, but he's very, very highly rated, so I'm going to give you some information on that. And it looks like it's pretty much done, man. Willian is out of the door come the summer. And he's got a few potential suitors, and I want to talk about that as well. So, lots of good gear for you on Football Therapy in this video. Quick reminder to subscribe if you've not already done so. Please do sub, bell notifications, like the video, help a brother out. Why not follow me on the socials? All right, let's get to the news. Let's start off with this new youngster then, signed from AFC Wimbledon. Leo Castledine. He's an under-15s player, he's already made his debut for the under-18s, he's very, very highly rated, ahead of his time, superbly talented midfield player. It's not like Chelsea haven't got enough midfielders. He is super young though, the guy's 14, so we wouldn't have to worry, all Chelsea's current midfielders wouldn't worry about him muscling in, but, you know, come four or five years down the line, he might be a world-class player. Certainly, this is what people are talking about him, that he's a future star. So it is good that Chelsea have locked down this signature, put him on a, into the development squad, or under-18s, and then the development squad. Hopefully, Frank Lampard in a few years is still knocking about with Jody Morris, and you might see this kid surface again, and he's apparently a complete baller. So, you know, good news, right? Right, we got another one of the youngster signings out of the way, so let's talk about more senior stuff here. Matt Law of The Telegraph has wrote and published an article regarding Willian's summer exit from Chelsea Football Club. Now, we all know Willian came out after, I think, the Bayern Munich loss to Brazilian media, saying, look, man, I want three years. Chelsea will only give me two years. It doesn't look like it's going to happen, and Frank Lampard was genuinely quite unhappy with him coming out making those comments. Now, there's been some crazy stuff regarding Willian's come surfacing in the media of late. I think it was Duncan Castle's tweeted, or uh, other tweet, or tweeted an article about how Marina Granovskaya wants Jaden Sancho, or wants the likes of Jaden Sancho, but Frank Lampard wants Willian. Ugh. This hurts my brain, and it should hurt your brain too. I understand Frank. Frank Lampard's perspective generally, if this is true, like Willian is a senior player, he knows what Frank Lampard wants, Frank can trust him. Jaden Sancho, he doesn't know enough about his character, he knows it would be a huge investment and that would come with different kind of pressures, and he maybe thinks oh, I'll invest the money elsewhere. I know Lampard really likes Ziyech, but Big up Marina Granovska if she does want Sancho because she likes the money moves. Chelsea do like a money move when they can. They don't like getting mugged off. They like making a lot of money from their sales, but they also like a big PR money move like Christian Pulisic. Sancho would be something similar. So she wants a new winger. Frank Lampard wants Willian. Willian wants three years. But I, it's all a crazy concoction of I don't know what's going on because Willian originally said last season he wants a two-year extension. Chelsea offered him the two-year. Now he's saying three years. It's almost like he just doesn't really want to stay. He says he maintains he loves London, he loves Chelsea, and I kind of believe that, and I think he does want to stay in London, but I think he wants a big three-year contract with a lot of money, and that might come in the shape of Tottenham or Arsenal. Now, I've spoken about the Willian to Arsenal rumours before, that kind of makes sense a little bit. I mean, would he go to Tottenham? I know he loves Jose Mourinho, it would be on a free, Tottenham need to save money because of the new stadium, so a lot of the sort of tangible stuff makes sense. Amazing training ground, amazing stadium, his old mate Jose, big contract, gets to stay in London. The only negative is he's supposed to hate Tottenham. So that's peculiar. Matt Law publishes in the article as well that Bayern Munich are also very interested. They obviously, like, I mean, they're trying to rebuild with loads of new young players, but they have enjoyed older players playing before. Obviously, Lewandowski is the same age. They had uh, Ribery and Robin for a very long time into their 30s. 
so they'll see value in Willian, who is a talented player, let's not forget. Personally, regardless of the interest, I think it would be very difficult to see Willian going to Bayern Munich if, if he went abroad. For me, it would probably be Barcelona because of the heavy links over the years. Uh, Juventus probably, they love a free signing as well, so they'd be huge suitors. But if he does want to stay in London, it has to be top tier Champions League, even though neither Arsenal or Tottenham are probably going to be in the Champions League. You know what I mean though? Big club, lots of money. So it could happen, man, and that is weird, right? So although that's peculiar and rather frustrating to see Willian go to a London rival, we'll, t we'll have to see if it does happen. It's promising to hear Marina Greta Sky wants a new Galactico level assigning winger and someone like Jadon Sancho. Frank Lampard might just have to swallow a young and exciting player. That's just so weird. I don't understand this rumor that's come out. Anyway, we'll see what happens regarding like the Willian story and a new winger. Obviously, visit Football Therapy every day and I'll keep you lot updated and make sure you swing by and subscribe and all that good gear. Right, let's talk about Timo Werner, man. Right, obviously the hottest center forward property. Oh, okay, hold on, I can't say that because of like Erling Haaland. Well, can I say that? Because he's been doing it at a higher level for longer than Holland. I don't know. Still, a superb elite marksman that will be available for around £60 million max, I think, I believe. Bearing in mind, he should probably cost double of that, at least. A superb bargain available in the summer transfer window. Someone's going to get him. I think he will go to the Premier League. And <laughs> it is highly likely he goes to Liverpool Football Club, the champions of Europe, champions elect of the Premier League, but uh, Chelsea are also suited and Liverpool have to meet the demands of RB Leipzig. Chelsea might be more inclined, you know, Chelsea have got a lot of money stored up now. Chelsea might be able to do stuff that Liverpool can't is what I'm sort of clutching here at the straws. Another thing I want to mention, sure Verne has been, like I say, flirting with Liverpool saying, oh, they're amazing or whatever, I, you know, pretty much come and get me. Let's think about this for a second. Now, Werner is a centre forward slash left winger or a winger. He, but does 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 he suit Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool? Now, listen, Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. His wingers are incredibly important. Now, sure, Werner's a goal scoring machine. Maybe he can do what Mane does. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how similar their player profiles are personally but in terms of Liverpool going for a centre forward if they want a new centre forward he doesn't suit that style of how they play at all. Roberto Firmino is just such an important cog of how that front three work and when they're playing well it's usually because he's playing so well now he's like a false nine nine and a half number ten that plays in the wide forwards I think that's why they bought Minamino Minamino, when he's been played, he's been played in that similar role. They want him to be that sort of creative, supercharged catalyst forward. Obviously, Minamino was bought as a number 10, but to go to the Firmino role, it's not that far away at all. In fact, Firmino is probably closer to a number 10 than he is a regular number 9. Now, Timo Werner is not that at all. He couldn't be further from that in terms of how he plays as a forward player. He's very much a goal-scoring attacker. He can play on the shoulder. He can combine, but he's just not the same as Bobby Firmino man. So the only thing I can think of is they want to play him out wide but they know he can drift through the middle and maybe that will work but there's such a perfect balance of Jürgen Klopp's Liverpool that perhaps, I don't know, they'd have to play slightly differently with Timo Werner. This is just me speculating but as things stand with the German striker, the two Premier League teams that have been linked most have been at Chelsea and Liverpool and although I have to be honest it does look like Liverpool's much more likely You've got to ask the question and speculate, what's the deal, how's he fitting in, who's going to spend more money, who can make him better assurances, all this kind of stuff. We all know a lot can change in the transfer window. And the fact remains, for me, no matter what happens, Chelsea are going to be buying a striker in the summer. Like I've said in the previous video I released, Michy Batshuayi is pretty much certain to be on his way in the summer. When you know when Armando Breuer is coming on before you, you know you're in trouble. And although I think Armando will be around the first team squad next season, which is incredibly exciting in itself, perhaps he'll be a third team striker when he's not playing with the development squad. Um, Chelsea are going to need another starting level striker up there with Tammy Abraham. <laughs> Let's not forget, Tammy Abraham's yet to extend his contract as well. He's in. Uh, he's got two years left, or I don't know if he'll be in his final year after this summer. We'll have to see. I'll, I'll have to look it up. But what I'm saying is Chelsea will spend money on a centre forward. Even if they want to give Giroud a contract extension, they'll, they'll buy a centre forward. They will. 
60 million is the same kind of money that they'd have to pay for Moussa Dembele of Leon, if not more, who's nowhere near as good as Werner. So if Chelsea think they're in with a chance to buy Timo Werner, they will absolutely try to do so. Other than that, we'll have to see who arises as the window comes closer, as the links bubble up, as, you know, agents start meeting clubs, as players start talking about clubs and hopefully we'll see we'll get a little bit more of a better idea of who Chelsea are actually in for in terms of centre forwards if they do indeed go back in for Moussa Dembele and of course I'll always keep you guys updated searching football media finding the stories consolidating them and presenting them to you here on football therapy so make sure you do swing by and you keep it locked down to this channel and if you've enjoyed this content today guys i'd appreciate it if you like the video that means a lot so if you're new follow me on social media at football yannick make sure you do swing by and follow me on instagram because i do lives on there and talk to you guys about football and chelsea football club etc that's it for me though Enjoy the football, and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.